This is a message for my colleagues in the public policy community. Although COVID has hit many Canadians hard, some of us haven't experienced the same dramatic economic consequences that others have suffered. The kind of work I do means that I am one of these privileged Canadians. So I'm choosing to take it personally that the impacts of the pandemic have been so gendered and racialized and have hit the economically vulnerable the hardest. Governments will make choices over the next few months, but I think we all need to make individual choices to help those who have been unfairly impacted by the pandemic. We all have agency in this recovery. The recovery isn't something that just happens to us. We can shape what it looks like. The last year has been very challenging for many young people finishing university and college. Young Canadians have sacrificed a great deal this past year. What that means for me is making sure that I offer meaningful professional work experience to the next generation of public policy professionals as they enter a very challenging labor market. Those of us in positions to do so need to challenge ourselves to do whatever we can to hire talented young professionals. So I will be making two summer hires that I wasn't intending to make. I know many of my colleagues are already planning to hire summer interns or offer contracts to recent grads. I'm challenging my colleagues in policy, in research, in consulting shops to be intentional about stretching our budgets and make an extra hire or two. This COVID cohort of students is so good and has been through so much. At Ryerson, over the next few weeks, we will also add learning modules to help ensure that recent grads have the public policy job readiness skills that employers are looking for. So stay tuned for more details. And get in touch with us if you have a position to fill or want help finding a great young hire. But right now, this is a challenge. If you can, now is the time to hire new public policy talent.